You have four minutes, Mr. Poole. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, members of the council, other appointees, uh, members of the community. My name is David Poole. I reside at 757 Oberly, Memphis, Tennessee, 38127. It's an honor to be here this evening. I'm asking that you vote for me to fill the District 7 interim position. In the 1930s, my grandfather and grandmother, Lina and Camille Poole, purchased 14 acres within about a quarter mile of Danny Thomas and Whitney. Uh, I still live there. In the 1960s, my father built a house next to my grandparents' house where he raised his family, and I currently reside. My seven sisters and three brothers and I all attended Our Lady of Sorrows grade school on Highway 51, and the majority of us graduated from Memphis Catholic High School. After high school, I had my first experience in City Hall, serving in the mayor's internship program in 1985. I served in the emergency management office. My job there was to match the city's emergency, the civil defense sirens, check for areas of the city that were not covered, and assist in mock emergency drills that the city would hold. Other interns worked in other departments. We had weekly roundtables, and I learned how city offices interacted with each other. After my experience in City Hall, I attended the University of Memphis, where I earned a bachelor's degree in commercial music and a master's degree in teaching. I spent the next seven years teaching English and music in Memphis high schools. During that time, my students performed at charitable events around the city, parades, 5Ks, and other events. Many of my students have gone on to become successful musicians. I left education to become a professional musician and played in Memphis, the Mid-South, throughout the United States and Europe and had the ill fortune one evening following Mr. Jason D. Williams, who I see in the audience this evening. It's, it's a tough act to follow. As a musician, I made it a point to support local charities, such as the United, the United Cerebral Palsy, the Dream Factory, the Make-A-Wish Foundation, and the Ark of the Mid-South. I left the music profession to pursue a law degree. Since earning my law degree, I have been a solo practitioner, in-house counsel for Drexel Chemical Company, and most recently, as an attorney with Hudson Ziskind, PLLC. Besides voting and community involvement, I've not been directly involved in local government or politics until my recent bid for Shelby County General Sessions judge. I believe in Memphis, and I'm prepared to do all I can to contribute to the well-being of Memphis and District 7. As a student and teacher, I know the value of educating our youth as well as imparting a love and respect for our community. As a member of the Rudy Scheidt School of Music, Music Advisory Council, and incoming president of the University of Memphis Law Alumni Board, I keep my finger on the heartbeat of the education system and understand the need to keep our bright students right here. As a musician performing locally and international, nationally, I have my finger on the heartbeat of the Memphis arts community. I understand the struggle of Memphis artists and the importance of the arts to our economy, to our heritage, and to our well-being. As an attorney, I have my heart finger on the heartbeat of our local legal system. I have represented the indigent, as well as multi-million dollar corporations. I understand what it means to listen to a client and to advocate zealously on behalf of a client. I understand what it means to negotiate and how far to negotiate. I am able to understand legal implications of matters which come before this board. As a recent candidate for public office, I learned the delicate dynamic of seeking a position to serve this community. I believe I have the background and skills to bring something special and unique to this council. And very quickly, I'd like to touch on work ethic. In my adult life, I've only missed one day as a sick day. I'll bring that work ethic to this council. In the aggregate, my skill, my knowledge, and experience make me the best candidate for this position. I hope that you'll cast your vote for me. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Poole. Barbara Swearingen Ware, 